and welcome everyone to another episode of Cooking with Faye. Today we're going to mix things up a bit and I'm going to show you what I will be eating this coming week in terms of breakfast, lunch, dinners, and any snacks in between. So this is just something that I'm doing because I am um, doing some weightlifting and bodybuilding and just trying to increase my lean muscle mass so that you're going to see a lot of protein and a lot of vegetables. And as always, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And I will get right on to this video. So as you saw in the introduction, everyone, um, this is gonna be what I typically eat for breakfast Monday through Saturday. As you can see over here, we have some old fashioned oats. I buy these in bulk from my local grocery store, so that's why they're in a bag and not a container. These are gluten-free and heart healthy. They're just a really great addition to your breakfast. You can spice it up with berries, um, spices, or any kind of herbs, whatever suits your fancy for this. And then I also have egg whites. So I have the equivalent of three to four eggs of egg whites every day for breakfast. Um, again, you can use spices and seasonings to mix it up a bit in terms of the flavor. And one of the things I like to do with the egg whites is put three to four eggs worth in each of the little containers and then I'll add like say spinach or different spices or you know maybe like some onions and artichokes or something into each individual container. That way when I bake it and it comes out of the oven I have these little, I don't know, like hockey puck sized um, egg whites that are just ready to go, pop them in some Tupperware container and take them to work with me the next day. And they're all different, so I don't have to worry about um, redundancies and flavor and getting bored of it. So it's just a really great way to know what your macros are gonna be for the day and start the day off right with some um, healthy proteins and healthy carbs. So now let's talk about snacks. And for this, I like to try to stick with protein just because I am in a bulking phase right now with my weightlifting where I'm trying to put on extra muscle and maintain what I've got. So I tend to stick with protein powder um, or nuts like almonds. I really like almonds um, just for the healthy fats and other nutrients in them. So I'll have, if I wanna have almonds that day, um, I'll have like a quarter cup. And again, I buy them in bulk from my local grocery store, so that's why they're in a bag. Otherwise, I try to stick with the more vegan proteins. So this is a combination of rice powder and um, pea protein powder, and it's in a chocolate mocha. It's really good. If you wanted to, you could actually add this in with the oatmeal that I showed for breakfast, and that makes a really good combo with this flavor combination. Next is this Hemp Pro. Oh, and I should mention, I am not endorsed by any of these brands. Um, I just buy a lot of protein powder, <laughs> so I kind of know what I like and don't like. Um, this stuff is amazing. This is my favorite protein powder that I found thus far on the market. Um, it just, it mixes really well with water or other types of beverages. There's not a really strong, like, hempy taste to it. It's really good. Um, this one is good too. I really like it. It's just, it kind of has a sandy texture if you don't mix it up in water really well. So do be um, careful with that. But otherwise, these are all really great brands. They're vegan, they're good for you, and a great source of protein for that little pick-me-up if you're feeling munchy in between your meals. All right, so for lunch, I tend not to get too adventurous in terms of what I'm eating. I tend to stick with um, a leafy green. So for this week, I've been eating spinach or something like cabbage. Um, I've obviously already been eating to this head of cabbage. I tend to stick um, with carrots and some other kind of vegetable. Um, I'm trying to really enjoy cucumbers for what's left of our summer here and into fall. And then I'll do a protein source. So this week I've really been craving some tilapia. So I'm gonna use a nice lean meat, so some white fish. Um, or if I wanna mix it up a bit, I will use some hip hearts. Um, this is a great um, way to get some omegas 3 and 6s, some protein and other healthy fats and vitamins and minerals that are good for you. So I just tend to kind of like rotate between some kind of like leafy green, some kind of protein, pretty much always carrots because I love them, 
and then whatever seasonal vegetable is in at the moment. So this is pretty much what I eat for lunch. Um, I try to mix the, the fish up between tilapia, salmon, and maybe if like say I'm at the grocery store and there's a different kind of fish that's maybe on sale or just looks particularly delicious, um, I'll get that instead. So this is lunch. And last but not least is dinner. Um, as you'll see, there's a lot of similarities between lunch and dinner. I like to have my leafy vegetable, whether that be spinach, arugula, um, some kind of lettuce like a romaine or a cabbage. Um, I tend to caramelize or um, roast some onions to go along with it. I roast up or um, cook some carrots. Again, whatever is seasonal. Um, the last few weeks it's actually been like zucchini and squash, but those are kind of out of season here, but cucumbers are still good to go. So we're gonna enjoy those while, we la or while they last. Um, and then some kind of meat. I'll generally rotate between um, chicken or maybe like a crab, or um, in this particular instance, I have some stir sirloin steak, pardon me. So just some kind of protein, you know, like leafy green, other kinds of vegetables. And if I have a sweet tooth that night, I will supplement it with say an apple or some kind of fresh fruit or um, this protein or peanut butter, pardon me, can't speak, some peanut butter powder. Um, this for whatever reason, it is really delicious and satisfies my sweet tooth. So I will just put a couple tablespoons of this in with some water, mix it up, drink it, and I'm good to go. So that's a good way for me to curb my sugar habit, since that is one thing that I still really struggle with. Um, but here is my dinner. So if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And otherwise, I will see you in Oh gosh, two weeks. So not um, next week or the week after because I will be traveling and out of the country. So I don't know how my internet access is going to be, um, but I will try to check my YouTube channel as much as possible. And you all are awesome and important to me. So I will be back as soon as I'm back in the States. So until then, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching the video today, everyone. If you're new to my channel, please hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all my fresh new content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your continued support by watching my videos and interacting with me in the comments. I really do appreciate it. If you're not through watching yet, feel free to click on the video over here to watch another great fitness video. And as always, if you have questions, please let me know. Until next time, bye guys.